If you're trying to place trades as fast as possible, hotkeys are definitely one way to do it. Hotkeys can actually allow you guys to set up a key or combination of keys to quickly place your trades or just to access the other tools within interactive brokers. Now, since hotkeys can be a bit confusing to learn, today we'll be going through the entire process of setting up brand new hotkeys, some examples of the most popular ones that you guys will probably end up using, and we'll even go through how you guys can customize them a bit to tailor them specifically to you. Now, beginning by actually opening up the hotkeys menu, in order to do that, we will need to come up here to the settings menu in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and open that up. We'll then take a look on the far left hand side over here in the toolbar, and all we have to do is find and click on the tab marked Chart Trader. This will then give us access to the hotkeys submenu over here on the right hand side, and if we go ahead and open that up, we can now see all the hotkeys that we have available to us, and down below, all the hotkeys we already have made. So again, this top section right here are all the hotkeys that we could make or customize. Then down here below in the bottom section, all the hotkeys that are already made for us. So beginning with that bottom section for just a second, you can actually see there are quite a few hotkeys already made in there. And to be honest, I didn't actually make any of these. These are just going to be the default hotkeys that Interactive Brokers makes for us, but you can see here they have made quite a few. So like Control F will search the Trader Workstation, Control H is Show Hockey Pop-Up, Control Z is Undo, and so on. Now in our case today, what we actually want to do is create a set of hotkeys that make the trading process as fast as possible. In order for us to do that, what I'm going to first begin with is actually creating a very simple buy market and sell market hockey. We'll first go ahead and begin with the buy market hockey. So let me come down here and select buy in the window here. Then come over here to the right hand side and select create shortcut. The window that pops up is actually our customization window. And the very first thing it asks us is what key do we want to use to activate this? To set the hockey itself, we'll come over here to the record button. Go ahead and click on that. Then we need to come down to our actual keyboard and actually select the keys. In my case, I'm going to make it control B. You can then see that it did register it. So now it says the current key shortcut is control B. We'll then need to actually customize the actual hotkey. So let's come up here and select customize. Then starting from top to bottom, we just need to specify what this hotkey is going to do. Right here, it says we're going to put out a buy ticket, which is correct. We'll then come down here and select the size of the order. In this case, I'm going to make it five shares at a time. We'll then come down and specify the order type. And in my case, I'm going to make it a market order. But really, that's about it. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do is place a very simple market order to buy five shares at a time. Now, if you guys stick around a little bit later, I'm actually going to create a more advanced hockey that not only buys the stock, but it also puts out my profit taking order and my stop loss right behind it. But for right now, I'm actually happy with this one that we just created. And all I have to do now is come down here and check mark this little box that says transmit the order instantaneously. All that's going to do is get rid of any order confirmation. So as soon as I were to hit control B, that order will be instantly submitted. So definitely be careful with this, but I'm going to go ahead and hit yes and hit OK. We'll then go ahead and do the exact same thing for the sell ticket. So come up here and select sell, then come over here to the right and create a brand new shortcut. We'll come over and hit record. And for this one, I'm actually going to make it control S on my keyboard. Moving on to customization next, it's actually going to be exactly like the previous one, the exact same settings. We'll go ahead and set the default quantity as five and make it a market order that transmits instantaneously. Now that I'm done with those two hotkeys, if I were to actually come down here to my configured shortcuts, we can actually see those two brand new ones right down here below. And before I actually move on to creating the more advanced hotkeys, let me go ahead and hit OK here and actually test these out to make sure they're working correctly. We'll go ahead and begin by testing the buy ticket first, which if I remember correctly was just Control B on the keyboard. And as soon as I hit that, it should instantly place an order to buy five shares at the market price. Now you guys probably didn't even notice it. It happened incredibly fast, which is the entire point. But I did just buy those five shares of Alibaba at 110.67. I can confirm that by actually looking down below in the lower right hand section, my portfolio tab and looking right there, you can see those five shares at 110.67. If we just stay there for a second and if I were to hit the control S button on my keyboard, you'll now see that I instantly sell those five shares. If we were to hit control S once again, you can now see I am short five shares of Alibaba. We'll go ahead and hit control B just to close out that position once again. And now we are flat. But it's nice to see those hotkeys are working exactly the way we set them up. They are very simple, just market orders, but we'll next go over how to create some slightly more advanced ones. 
To do that, let's go ahead and go back up to the settings menu. We'll head back over to the chart trader and the hotkeys menu. The next hockey I'm going to create is actually going to be a bracket order, meaning I want to buy the shares, but then I immediately want to sell them for a profit or get stopped out before I lose too much money. We're going to be using a buy ticket to start off the actual transaction. So let's come down here and hit the buy button. We'll come over here and hit create a shortcut. So you'll see it's very, very similar to the previous example. Coming over here to the record button, we're gonna go ahead and make this very, very similar, but for this one, I'm gonna make it Shift B instead of Control B. We'll then come up here to the customize button, and for this one, I'm gonna make it very, very similar. I'm gonna put five shares in here. I'm gonna make it a market order as well, but this time, instead of being done, we're actually gonna come over here to the right-hand side. Looking here, you can actually see this top section is our profit-taking portion of the order. Then down below is the stop order. Let's go ahead and first begin by setting our profit taking order. And in my case, let me go ahead and first make it a limit and I'm going to set it to a 50 cent target. So this is basically going to say whatever I buy it at, put out a limit order 50 cent above that to take a 50 cent profit. We'll next move on to the stop order next. So let's come down here and change this from none to a stop order. And for the stop, I'm actually going to make it a 25 cent stop. But that's pretty much it. What this hockey is essentially saying is, first off, whenever I hit Shift B, I first wanna buy five shares of the stock. Then whenever that order actually fills, I then wanna try and sell it for a 50 cent profit or get stopped out if I ever lose 25 cents. Again, I am completely happy with the way it's set up, so I'll just come down here and select Transmit the Order Instantaneously. We'll then go ahead and hit Yes and OK. And the other hotkey I'm gonna set up is for closing our current positions. So right here, I'm gonna come up to close position and select it. We'll then come over here to create a brand new shortcut. I'm gonna come over here to the record button and I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna make this one control C. Now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of customization for this particular hotkey. This one is basically gonna close out of your entire position, whatever you're currently holding. You can't actually set it up to close out a half of it or 25% of it. It kinda is what it is right now. Really, the only thing I have the ability to customize is coming down here to the time and force box and changing it either from date or GTC. And then I could make it transmit instantaneously just like the previous ones. But that's really it in terms of customization. Now, besides those ones that we just talked about, obviously there are a lot of hockeys in this list right here. What I'd warn you about is be careful with adding too many. You're really not gonna remember what all of these hotkeys do, so really keep it as limited as possible. What I would personally do is set up the hotkeys for the two trades that you do most often, and then besides that, just place the trades manually yourself. Really, you don't want to bog yourself down with too many hotkeys, because really, you're never going to remember them all. So in my case, let's just go ahead and stick it out with those few that we just added, and then come down here and hit OK to actually test out those buttons. Now, if I remember correctly, the first hockey that we set up was actually Shift B, which is not only going to put out my market order to buy the stock, but also my profit taking order and stop loss order. Now to test that, we'll go ahead and hit Shift B on the keyboard. And as soon as I hit that, the order was instantly submitted. Looking down in my portfolio tab, once again, you can see that I did just buy those five shares of Alibaba for 110.88. And if I come back over to the order ticket, I can actually see the profit taking order and stop order as those horizontal lines across my chart. Now, of course, you guys do have the ability to edit those if you wanted to. I could always drag up that line if it makes it easy. So right there, I actually just moved the order ticket up to 111.64 and I could always drag it back down if I wanted to. I could also come over here to the left hand side of the order ticket and just hit cancel if I just wanted to outright cancel those orders. Now, if I were to come down to my keyboard and actually hit control C, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna immediately close out of my entire position on Alibaba. So taking a look at that portfolio tab once again, you can see I have zeroed out my position. I now have zero shares of Alibaba. Just as a quick refresher, remember I set my buy and sell hotkeys, the very simple market orders, as a control B hotkey and a control S hotkey. We then set up the shift B as the buy market order followed by the bracket. And then finally, the very last one was actually control C to close out your possessions. But I think you guys all see how useful these hotkeys can be. And hopefully after today, you should all feel a lot more comfortable using them within interactive brokers. Now, as you saw, they are clearly not perfect. And I really hope they make some changes in the future to add some more customization to them. But that's the hotkeys for now. If you found this video helpful in some way, please consider hitting that like button before leaving. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you guys on the next one.